hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys we are going to troubleshoot the issue so let me show you the issue first if I want to open the Bluetooth and other devices setting and want to add the Bluetooth here it is not going to scan and throwing the error could not connect so if you are facing the same issue this video is for you Bluetooth on or button is not showing here could not connect whatever error you are getting so this video is for you I will show you how to troubleshoot this issue step by step so step number one is windows inbuilt troubleshooter guys so this is very effective tool to fix any kind of issues related to the windows 11 or 10 so tap that troubleshoot setting and open the troubleshoot setting here and click on other troubleshooter and check for your bluetooth is listed here or not if it is not listed here uh, you have to move on to the second step so I'm not able to run the windows bluetooth troubleshooter here so I have to move on to the second method in the second method guide we need to make sure that the bluetooth services is running here as it is not showing here so make sure the bluetooth services are running now run as admin here services and we need to make sure that the bluetooth services are running here so basically there are three services in the service section here the first one as you can see here bluetooth audio gateway service and second one is bluetooth support service third one is user support service so these three services should be running here so choose the first option bluetooth audio gateway service double click on it or you can as you can see status should be running here if not go to its properties and a startup type should be automatic once you have selected automatic hit apply and ok like this and you can also start it from here even you can restart it select the second one this is also important double click and set automatic and start it if it is stopped so this is not running in my case guys so I have to start it like this do not choose the startup type to automatic or something just leave it as default close this out and let me check out here now let me check if the issue is solved or not seems issue is not solved still so we have to move on to the third step in the third step guys bluetooth driver is very important even in windows drivers are the most important so we are going to get that open the device manager simply search the device manager and bluetooth is not listed here in my case if in your case it is not listed here sometime it may hidden so we have to click on your computer name just click on on the top and go to view and show hidden devices bluetooth is showing now but i am not able to try any options since these options are grey out so in your case if it is the case we have to install the driver if bluetooth is still not showing here guys so i have that fixed for you also ok so it is not working in my case so i am going to install the manual driver for my windows and choose you need to choose the same if it is showing or not my favorite browser is google chrome so i'm opening that and you need to tap there intel bluetooth driver this should work in most of the windows and go to first link windows 10 and 11 and choose the first option download it 64 bit operating system accept terms and conditions here and let it download now it has started
also you need to look for the manufacturer driver here if this intel one is not working so run the cmd hit yes and we need to type here the command but before that open the system information and you should have knowledge the motherboard system model number and 64 bit as well as the base motherboard manufacturer means the motherboard manufacturer okay so in my case that is Dell so I need to get the serial number also we have two ways to get the serial number the first one is this option it should be listed on your hardware let me show you how to identify that serial number or system service tag should be there I'm showing you on the Dell since I have searched that as you can see here serial number should be showing like this on here so basically we need to enter the serial number in order to install the correct Bluetooth driver for Windows and the second fix is we have is to install the driver with the serial number with the CMD so let me open the CMD WMIC BIOS space get serial number together and hit enter just select the serial number copy it with the control C and we need to paste it here and click on search so this will basically install the correct, correct manufacturer driver so let me show you ok it is still also not visible now it is showing intel 1 so let me try out the intel 1 so suggest i suggest you to choose the first intel 1 if that is not working so look for the manufacturer which i have shown you here how to get the correct driver so if i expand that okay it is hit next now hit next accept terms and condition hit next now choose here the complete one and hit installed so once you have installed that you have to basically restart the system and for the manufacturer driver let me show you here and also you need to make sure that guys you can also update the BIOS driver plug in the charger this is very important basic input output devices peripheral devices connected through BIOS so check that and in my case this is showing this Wi-Fi Bluetooth driver that it recommended so you can also try the manufacturer here like this that so hit that and just hit it and install it so let me try out the first Intel one then if it doesn't work then I will show you the manufacturer driver let me show here seems like it has installed but let me try okay it, it has installed that's why it is asking to remove it you have to make sure that you have to restart the system also so let me try out the restart first so let me log in guys and I will show you if it is fixed or not ok bluetooth is showing here it means that the issue has been resolved and let me go to the bluetooth and other devices settings ok on off button is showing here as you can see and if I want to add it so this is not throwing the error it is trying to scan the bluetooth device so my issue has been fixed now if your issue is fixed then well and good if not you can choose the manufacturer driver as I have shown you how to get the serial number and correct information and also guys you can try the power flush motherboard power flush on your system 
just what you need to do is you need to remove all the external cables I mean the USB mouse power cables all the external cables you need to remove them and just press the power key for almost 30 seconds and then lay, leave it for almost 1 to 2 minutes and then only plug in the power cable and then turn it on your system or the laptop and it will fix the issue it will get the bluetooth hardware issues and it will fix the bluetooth hardware issue so these are the fixes guys and also you need to make sure that you have the bluetooth hardware on your system supported so go to the system information on your browser and look for that so after watching this video i'm pretty sure guys if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching you can also join the membership in order to watch the exclusive videos on so thank you thanks for watching